It's Fat Store Producer here from Dance Chicken Gaming. Here's a report from uh, a chap called Scottish Fox who is very, uh, very grateful that he's uh, um, reported somebody who's impersonating uh, um, a chicken. Uh, th I also get impersonated as well, and I'm just going to go through some of the impersonators so you guys are aware that these impersonators are out there. Are out there. Um, the uh, impersonator in particular that uh, um, he's uh, uh, referring to is this guy here. Uh, this guy here, um, he's got a steam level of 18. Um, basically, it says this is Daft Chicken Gaming. He's got a false link to a false backpack. Uh, and CSGO trading, he's talking about CSGO, Chicken doesn't even have any CSGO items, nor does he play the game. So this guy is a charlatan, he's gone under previous names, Darth Chicken, Darth Gaming, Darth, Ch Darth Chicken, Darth Chicken, Captain Hoovy, New Minecraft Kid, Minecraft Kid 2005. So... I mean, this guy is just a is a solid scammer, so beware. There are other uh, there are other uh, scammers out there, and I'm going to go into some of um, uh, some other guys that are out in the the uh, on Steam at the moment. So this is, looks a chick. A search for Darth Chicken Gaming reveals. The real chicken, which is this one here, uh, the real chicken has uh, has basically. I mean, I can see him because I, I um, his profile is private, but I can see him because I'm a friend. Um, basically, he is a level eleven, um, four thousand hours of uh, uh, Team Fortress, uh, and. That is a real chicken. Uh, that he is a fr he's of course uh, f our friends to me. Um, he there is a he has um, uh, basically this guy here is a very clever impersonator. He has actually come along here and checked gaming's and put double S on the end. He's He's copied what names Chicken have has used in the past to to um, uh, play on, and this guy's a very clever scammer, and he's also very experienced because he's got level 55. So this guy here is a very clever scammer. He's friends with a lot of high uh, high for looting uh, uh, guys, and um, he could appear as being legit. Um, again, uh, Steam Trading Cards Group. Well, Chicken's never been a member of that. Um, you know, basically, again, CSGO. Chicken does not like or play CSGO. 0.7 hours on record from Team Fortress. Chicken's got 4,000 hours. This guy, this is what to look for. This guy is a scammer. How am I currently buying, uh, 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 buying and CSGO items? Well, Chicken doesn't like CSGO or play it, so no. Um, that's stored in my Smurf for, for purposes. What does he do? Stick it up a blue guy's asshole? So yeah, basically, this guy is a scammer um, or an impersonator at the very least. There's another one here. Um, uh, th this guy here has got a private profile. Um, I'm a friend, I can normally get into it. Again, he says he's gone under all these things. Spotlight, um, uh, etc. Uh, this guy is another impersonator. And um, uh, again, just to be aware, Darth Chicken does not trade. So if you are after someone to trade with, he's a collector. He trades, he, if he's got to buy something, he'll buy it through me or somebody else. He will not buy it through uh, directly and again you guys will be scammed if you deal with these people here's another one um who the hell is this guy R who's robert royce royce moderator R royce who the fuck is this guy i mean this guy is a impersonator let's go down to another one i mean who's this guy here i mean again 
at level 18. Uh, he looks like he's been set up uh, again, some highfalutin friends. Um, <clears throat> a good trader, but his comment section is closed. How good a trader can he be with the comment section closed? And 0.5 record. Uh, uh, look at the the crappy, just a few little games in there, and nothing, nothing of any substance on this. So he's obviously bought this profile or done something like this, and he's using chicken stuff, and he's linked to chicken's backpack, and another scum. Uh, scum person again he's impersonated a lot of other things uh, that uh, chickens used in the past as, uh, as game handles so from my point of view yeah you guys have got to be so careful and it's not my responsibility it's not our responsibility and don't go reporting us uh, if you get scammed by somebody who's impersonating us because I will not find, you know, we don't find it very uh, positive. And we've had a couple of people resp uh, report us to Steam Rep, and then the Steam Rep people have said, well, hey, in actual fact, you've reported the wrong person. So, get, you know, I, I'm not going to scam you. I don't need to scam you, okay? Chicken doesn't need to scam you. We've got enough stuff. Why were you going to chase in 20 keys of you or something trivial, you know? Um, this is my backpack. I've got a level 51 currently. I'm trying to continually um, level up. Um, I, again, I am a collector, not a trader. I'm not going to impersonate. I'm not going to approach you. I won't approach you. I've got a couple of very specific traders I deal with. Uh, I'm not going to approach a little guy. I, I'm not interested in most of your stuff because I'm a higher tier collector. So just figure that out. Think about it. Most of the lower tier stuff I buy in the safety of the community market rather than trade with people because I don't want to get scammed either. I've been scammed once. So why would I do that? So from my point of view, if I think that uh, you're, you're going to, you know, your personators and, and you're sort of trying to take that out of me, from my point of view, I... I'm not going to put up with that shit. I'm going to report you for abuse. So from my po point of view, get it right. Know who you're dealing with and know that there are impersonators out there. Let's go to the community. Um, I'm going to now put down the fat stormtrooper. And I think it's really important for you guys to realise uh, that, um, that there are people out here that are just, you know, that are scum. Uh, and... Uh, they they're not they're not going to stop at scamming you and they'll they'll impersonate me they'll drag my reputation through the mud and you if you tra choose to trade with them you're going to lose your stuff again this is me on top okay fat stormtrooper bang that's my stuff okay um and again i don't have any links to any backpacks here i have an inventory you can go boom Okay, it's public. There you go. Um, there it is. There is my inventory. You know, straightforward. Okay, let's go to the next one. This guy here. Okay, he's. This is a really notorious scammer. He's got lots of people. I don't even know what this is. This is stolen artwork from somebody else. Um, you know, he's got all these names here. I've never been Charlie Chapman. Who the fuck is Charlie Chapman? He's an old guy that swings a claim. Uh, Kane on black and white movies. Um, I I don't even use Outpost. In fact, I got banned for Outpost. I didn't actually, I, I was a free to play, and I logged into Outpost for the first time, and they banned me before I even visited a forum. I actually joined Outpost so I could go you on know, discussion forums and learn more about the game. So I actually hate Outposts. I really hate them because I think they're they you know. Uh, they're, they're really, uh, I still resent how I was treated. So I will never use Outposts. And if you friend me and you have Outposts on there, I probably will never, ever, you know, so just unjoin Outposts if you want to talk to me because Outposts suck shit for as far as I'm concerned. So this guy here is a member of Outposts. Um, I wonder why my inventory is not visible. It's, it's locked to prevent beggars and spam traders. Well, my inventory is is visible his inventory here is not it's private mine is mine's currently available so you my friend are a scamming piece of shit okay let's go into the next one this guy here okay oh i prefer to have a dummy account for safety purposes well i don't have a dummy account i have one account i have no alt accounts i just have one account okay um 
<coughs> okay, yeah, CSGO. I've never played CSGO. I've never wanted to play CSGO. Um, this one here, uh, Reddit public group, I'm, you know, at the end of the day, th this, is, this guy is not legit. I mean, who is this guy? I don't know who is this guy. Um, I'll just put this guy is an impersonator. So, I'm just going to post the comments to say that this guy's a impersonator. Um, and there you go. He'll probably delete that, but there you go. This is rubbish. And there's another one. Another one. Here you go. Uh, I have a dummy account. Dummy this. Dummy fucking... Who has a dummy account? My God, this is the same guy. This guy's an impersonator. Who has a dummy account? No one has a dummy account. Um, is this the next guy? Uh, yeah, there's another guy here. This guy's a scammer, not really real me. He hacked my account for, uh, for fucking items. He's a scammer. Check his backpack. He is a scammer. He's got one person on his friend list. Um, interestingly, this guy here, you know, he was, uh, he's a guy, I think he was bad-mouthing chicken in the past. Um, so from my point of view, this guy is a scammer. Look at this here. You know, three hours of tea, you know, three hours of record. What crap is that? I mean, this is a level zero account. It's shit. Anyone that wants to trade with that deserves to be ripped off. I mean, I don't think anyone does, but really, you do deserve to be ripped off if you want to trade with this. Private, okay? My account's always been public. Who the hell is this person? What the fuck is this shit? Uh, obviously, a scammer's account. Um, there's all sorts of other stormtroopers here, but people have stolen this little thing that I've used, and there you go. Um, so, again, impersonators are your responsibility. If you're going to go and start impersonating, you know, impersonating someone and trading, and I find out I'm going to report you, everyone should report you. And lastly, if you get scammed by somebody and they're an impersonator, you haven't done your homework, okay? At the end of the day, I'm not going to, I am not going to approach you unless you know, I know you, okay? If I do approach you, it will be in a very humble way, and it might be part of a giveaway, I'll never ask you for any items, okay? I'll never ask you for items. I might send you a trade offer, and the trade offer will have nothing from you and stuff from me. And that's only after I probably talk to you on YouTube or some other modality. So I'm not going to just walk in and, you know, I would be playing a game with you or something like that. I'm not just going to walk up and, and, and see you for no specific reason. So if it is too good to be true, then it is too good to be true, okay? And if you are going to deal with these people, you are the one. The buck stops with you, okay? So watch out for uh, impersonators. Keep safe. Peace out.